Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a one more topic in DBMS that is DBMS languages. DBMS languages. So in DBMS, there are a more number of languages which are used to access with the data using the SQL queries. So we'll see what are the different languages and what are the commands example commands comes under those languages so the first one is a called a ddl which is stands for data definition language data definition language and the commands under this ddl is used to define the structure as the name itself indicates data definition language so defining the database means de defining the structure of the database that means uh, creating the schema creating a tables with the logical constraints everything will be done by using the commands of a ddl data definition language okay so it will use it to work with the structure of database not the data of database okay so the database will be having some data but this ddl commands will work on the structure that means the skeleton of database Right. So the commands comes under this DDL are the first one create. So this command is used to create a database. I mean tables or objects. Okay, create a tables or objects. And the second one alter. So this command is used to alter the structure of database. Alter the structure of database so altering the structure means adding some more attributes okay removing some attributes whatever it may be that will comes under this alter okay alter next one drop so this is used to delete the table entire table okay not the data so all these commands will be working on the structure of database schema okay not the data in the database and the next one truncate so this truncate is used to remove all the records all the records of database all the records of a table okay so these are the few commands comes under the data definition language so that's the first language and the second one DML. So DML stands for Data Manipulation Language. So here the name itself indicates data manipulations. That means whatever the manipulations uh, we are going to do on the data, that commands will comes under this DML. So first one, select. So select command is used to retrieve the data from the database. That means if you want to get the data, so we are going to use the command called select. Okay. So retrieve data from database. So for example, consider some student table. So I need to get the student details. Uh, all the student details who got uh, greater than 90 percent so we need to get the selective data from the table student so for that purpose we are going to use this select command select command and the next one insert so insert command is used to insert the data into database so if you want to add a student details so this insert method we use used to insert the rows of a table rows into a table right so this is used to insert data to the database to the database and the next one so quite opposite that is a delete and this delete command is used to delete a single row or a multiple rows or all the rows from the table so it is somewhat diff uh, different from a truncate 
So truncate will remove all the rows of a database. But here delete is used to delete an individual row or a multiple rows or all the rows of a table. Right? Based upon the condition, we can delete the rows of a table. For that purpose, we are going to use this delete command. So it is used to delete single or multiple or all the records all the records right so for that we are using delete and the next one update so this update command is used to update the data okay not the skeleton not the structure right so here we are updating the data for example the student so the stu uh, coming to the student details so if he got some percentage okay so if we, if we want to update the percentage okay no, not the skeleton so if you want to update the value okay update any value of an attribute that will be done with the help of this update command right update the data not the skeleton so update the data so these are the very few commands comes under this data manipulation language so these are all the commands which are used to manipulate the data in in the database and this is a ddl which is a data definition language which will uh, define the structure of a database that means a skeleton of a database right so these two are the languages and we'll see the third one that is data control language the third one data control language so the control over accessing the data so the commands which we give the control over accessing the data so that means we are having a two commands uh, one is a grant so this command is used to give the privileges for the user to access the database okay so giving privileges or permissions privileges to the user to access database okay giving some permissions so what type of permissions so that will be done by this grant command the next one revoke so quite opposite for the grant so taking all taking back the permissions from the user okay so this is for taking back the permissions or privileges given to user given to user taking back the permissions given to uh, uh, given to the user right so these two comes under this data control language so controlling the accessing of data from the database right and the fourth one the fourth language is a transaction control language so this is a dcl and this is a tcl which is transaction control language so these are the commands comes to based upon the transactions okay coming on the transactions so whatever the transactions we are doing so the commands comes under this transaction process okay so the one is commit so this command is used to save the transaction to the database okay save the transaction save the transaction to the database and coming to the next one that is rollback rollback is to undo the transactions which being done in the latest right that means cancelling the transaction which was done recently right so undoing the transaction undo the transaction or undo the recent transaction 
and do the resend the transaction so that will be done by using this rollback so these two commands will be work on the transaction so these two commands comes under the transaction control language so we have discussed very few commands so there are a lot of commands so these are the very few commands comes under this languages so data definition language data manipulation language data control language and uh, transaction control language so for, once we see the summary and we we'll close the session right so let me write the commands and languages as a summary so this languages comes under four categories so one is ddl another one is dml another one is dcl and the last one is tcl so the commands comes under this ddl r create command so very few commands there will be a lot of commands but i am writing only few commands so alter drop truncate so these are the very few commands and also rename okay in order to rename the table so we'll use this dl right so rename and if the commands comes under this dml uh, select insert delete update so these are the few commands comes under this dml data manipulation language coming to the dcl which is grant revoke so these two are the commands which are used to control the database right so x1 commit and roll back and roll back so these two commands comes under on the transaction control language so these are the different dbms languages which are used to work with the database using the queries right so in the further concepts once we got into the sql so you will be knowing about all these commands so we have to write the commands or we have to write the queries instead of writing the commands we have to uh, pronounce it as a queries so we have to write the queries so while writing the queries you will be understanding about each and every uh, command here right so we'll see the syntaxes in the sql right so hope you understood this uh, dbms languages and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much